The year is 1216. Some rebel barons and 100 heavily armed soldiers have taken over Rochester Castle. Let's see what everyone is so upset about. So why are you all so upset? King John is the worst king we have ever had. We've even given him the nickname Soft Sword because he is so rubbish in battle. He keeps on losing battles in France and then making us pay loads of money in taxes so we can go back and try again. And again. And again. So, King John, the rebels seem to have a good reason to be angry. Why not leave them to it? This is one of the most important castles in the land. It guards one of the main roads into London, and I must control it. As you can see, it wasn't easy getting into a medieval castle. Sieges sometimes lasted days, sometimes even months. The barons who were inside the castle have enough food and water to make King John wait months for them to come out. So, he has decided to use the most modern and up-to-date weaponry to break into the castle. Let's have a look. We are firing the trebuchet. The trebuchet is probably one of the most important siege attack weapons, similar to a catapult, which we use to hurl heavy stones to smash castle or city walls. It can reduce even the strongest castle walls to rubble, launching rocks as heavy as 22 stone. <laughs> If we run out of stones, we will fire anything we can find. Wooden poles, burning sand, pots of Greek fire, dung, body parts, or even dead, rotting animals. We're climbing the siege tower. We put the tower up against the wall of a castle, and the soldiers can climb up ladders on the siege tower to get over the high castle walls. There's even a drawbridge at the top, so we can travel across onto the battlements. We're at Texas as we travel to the wall. The tower is covered in animal hides, which we soak in vinegar, which stops any arrows. Up to 200 of us can hide near. We are going to pound and punch the gate down and shake the walls of this castle. About 100 of us soldiers are needed to use the battering ram. It's a huge tree trunk which we swing back and forth to batter down the target. We are protected by the animal skin roof, even if the soldiers are both shoot arrows at us. We're getting ready to fire the Mongonel, a small catapult which can fire rocks up to a thousand feet. Because it's so light and has wheels, we can move it easily around the base of the castle. We are archers. We can fire arrows over 200 meters. The best of us can even fire them straight through the arrow slits in the castle wall. Look! Someone has fired Greek fire at the castle. This is a mixture of tar, oil and sulphur. You can't put it out with water, so the castle will just keep burning. Unless, of course, you pour urine on it. We are sappers. We are soldiers skilled at getting at the castles without climbing over the walls. Sometimes we might fill in the moat with logs, stones or soil so the soldiers can get over. Today, we're digging under the walls to collapse it. We call this wooden cover we hide under a tortoise. Protects us from anything they throw at us. I have heard from a reliable source that King John has come up with a great idea. And it's about time. He is going to make the sappers burn 40 fat pigs down in the tunnels. Their fat is burning so well that the tunnels are caving in. And so is the wall. The King's army is storming in. The siege of Rochester Castle is over, and it's all thanks to 40 fat pigs. <laughs> <laughs>